December in Minnesota means many things to many people. And for some, it's a chance to see the light, as in Christmas light displays. We discovered one spot in the North Metro that is definitely worth checking out. Justin Barno's house in Circle Pines is a beacon of holiday cheer. Barno's Christmas light display is a popular attraction in the North Metro and has a magnetic tug on people who come to see his spectacular light show. Oh, I would say over 2,000 uh, 2, cars. We've actually had red on our map before, if you look at Google Maps. Um, <laughs> uh, it's been red, and on the weekend before Christmas, I actually get my friends and their kids to come out and help direct traffic. And we have lines out, the way, or out, out on the main street, so we try to keep traffic flowing. According to Barno, there are approximately 32,000 pixel lights that blink, flash, change color, and put on an animated show. My house would be more on the, uh, the scale of having more pixels than a lot of the other ones. Besides the neon, there's also a soundtrack of holiday music that adds another level of festive fun to his display. Uh, what we try to do is please everybody and put on whatever show we can. Uh, you know, the kids dance around to the dancing music and then the parents like all of the classic Christmas and this year we're running a couple classic Christmas ones too as well. Barno has been doing this for 12 years and it truly is his passion. It is. I've actually been, yeah, I started it when I was a kid actually at my parents' house. And then as soon as I purchased this house, I moved into decorating it and my neighbors were like, oh, what's that? And then now my neighbors have been very supportive and very interested in it, learning more about it every time too. Barno actually starts planning his Christmas light display in January, and the setup starts in August. He definitely puts in plenty of hours getting things ready for the holiday season. Besides illuminating his neighborhood and spreading the holiday spirit, Barno receives donations for Ronald McDonald House Midwest, and he's raised almost 20 k I brought this cause to our show to raise money for them because a friend in the community, in the lighting community, was doing it for many years and then he got out of the hobby. In these challenging times, Barno's real reward is making people smile when they see his Christmas magic. Especially COVID year was amazing to see the people out here um, because obviously we know a lot of people didn't get out of their house that often. This, this brought joy. And seeing the kids, you know, smiling and we are out there usually on the weekends, uh, talking to them, handing out candy canes. Now, believe it or not, all those lights only add about $60 to Justin Barno's monthly power bill. His light display runs until January 3.